Hello treasures, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Bisa's Corner where I film on my faith, lifestyle and health. Today we are continuing our conversation on cancers. I'm trying to create awareness about cancers. Our first series talked about cancers, an overview of cancers. Then it was followed by an awareness of prostate cancer. Today we are going to be talking about cervical cancer. Please do watch this video to the end and most importantly, put into action all the steps that will help prevent cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is the commonest gynecological cancer and it actually accounts for a great number of cancer-related deaths in women, especially women in the developing countries of which Nigeria is one of them. However, this cancer can be prevented via vaccination and screening. It occurs in women of reproductive age, however, it is commoner in older women. The risk factors include infection with human papilloma virus, multiple sexual partners, early sexual debut, immunosuppression, and also smoking. The first symptom is usually bleeding during intercourse or what we call coital bleeding. Others can also include pelvic pain, constipation, dysuria, that's pain while urinating, unintentional weight loss, lack of appetite. Screening for cervical cancer helps in detecting the early form of this disease and which can be treated. Now, how can we prevent cervical cancer? Like Cervical cancer can be prevented via vaccination and it is encouraged that young boys and girls between the age of 9 to 15 years are vaccinated against human papilloma virus. Another way to prevent cervical cancer is through screening. Screening is an screening is another important way to prevent cervical cancers. However, for people Younger than 21 years, screening is not required. However, from 21 to 29 years and those who are sexually active, it's important that they get pap smear done every three years. Now, from, six, from 30 years to 65 years, it's important they do a test for human papilloma virus and also pap smear is done every five years or they can do only pap smear every three years. For those older than 65 years who have been screening themselves just as required, they might not need to do any of this screening again once they get to 65 years. Like I said earlier, making sure you take actions to prevent cervical cancer is very, very important because it is a preventable disease. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do well to comment below any of your observations or anything you would love us to put up for you on this channel and don't forget i am dr bisa and your total well-being is my goal bye bye and see you again next week